A cannon is a shot which is really two shots in one. It croquets one ball and immediately roquets the next. All in one stroke. The purpose of the shot is to move two balls at once to better positions on the lawn. Perhaps off a yard line or out of a corner. Generally, the situation for a cannon arises when a ball has been roqueted off the lawn and yarded in exactly to a spot already occupied by another ball. The roquet ball must then be placed next to and touching the live ball. When the yellow ball is now croqueted, there is no reason why the blue ball can't be roqueted simultaneously. The question is how to line things up. If the direction we want to croquet yellow is, let's say, this way, then the blue ball would be in the way. So the rules allow us to move the blue away. As long as it remains touching the yellow. The red ball has not officially touched the blue ball yet. So as we set up our cannon, we must leave some gap between them. Even if minute. To help make a prediction of where our yellow and blue balls are going to travel. A good starting point is to set up an equilateral triangle. If the red ball is now struck from this direction, we could fairly expect our two balls to go off at similar angles to each other and approximately similar distances. Substantial changes to the relative distances can now be made by changing the mallet direction. From here yellow will be moved further. From here, blue will be. Cannons played from corners often require a narrower angle between the two balls. This can be achieved to a degree by increasing the size of the gap. The larger gap however does affect the necessary mallet angle when it is the blue ball that we want to propel further. This shot at first glance can appear anti-intuitive. However, if we break it down into its two individual shots, we can see that this cannon is made up from a thick takeoff and a cut rush. There is no doubt that some practice and experimentation on the lawn needs to be done before executing a cannon in a game. 